what's up everyone brian with you from the game cabinet we are playing some more total war warhammer 3 playing some immortal empires and currently we are well trying to figure out what we want to do and it looks like we're going to be going for scrag here so i don't think he's moving towards the other border prince land there's two things we could do we could go backstab him and take verdonis right now behind him and try wrecking his income so hopefully he can't rebuild and stuff like that the other options we could try catching his army now while it's out and hope to beat it or option number three is we wait till he sieges down the border prince land and then hit him so that it's both our army and the garrison the issue with that is the fact is he'll probably run away and i'll have to fight him 1v1 anyways okay dwarf treasury is good um we will level up our capital building first because that's where that's probably the most important thing all right so if we went here it's 50 50. i hate how these guys are actually um putting vampiric corruption so one nice thing about these guys is they don't have anything to do with corruption which is nice which is nice Income from toolmakers, control, recruitment, recruitment. What else do we have here? Melee defense, melee defense, diplomatic relation with humans, hives, and lizardmen. Might not be the worst thing. Ranger missile strength for quarrelers. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for master crosswork first. I love how there's actually a search now. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, time for us to go freaking fight Scrag. Is he uh, friendly with anyone? He is currently at war with Border Princes. He has no allies. He has no one that loves him. Perfect. Can I? I can get a non-aggression pack here with the Golden Order. They'll pay me a little bit of money. I like to see that. Uh, Mr. Border Princes. Oh, wait. Sorry. We have that. I'm in the quick deal. Offensive Alliance. Okay. So if I talk to Border Princes, I wonder if I can get him to pay me to join the war. Greetings, stranger. Join war against Disciples of the Maw. He will pay me 1300 I will. Okay. I mean, I kind of want him to have money, to save his money for himself, but we're going to do it. This is a Pyrrhic victory. We're actually not going to lose anything, and only medium casualties. Um, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. Yeah, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. Growth control. This isn't my local province right now, so I'm just going to take the money in the treasury. Okay. So, Scrag is now dead. So, we have a couple turns with no Scrag. The downside is he will respawn in approximately five seconds. So, we could... We could actually come take this. Redonis. <sighs> It does not actually have a garrison right now. So let's hit it now while we can. Ah, oh, and that's why we should have fought the first one. Dang, dude. I can't siege it because Scrag's probably going to be back next turn. Question is, do I want to like rebuild all of these units? And the answer is no. <laughs> no, they are fairly low level. We could do some merging. But, like, I can't lose these hammers right now. Or the great weapons. Um, settlement battle. What's the settlement look like? We do have, luckily, the grudge throwers, which is nice. And we still have our big dudes as well. Just debating. I think I think we fight this one. Yeah. Unfortunately, those towers are going to be a bit annoying. But I have a large enough army that I think I can um, spread out enough that he's going to have a hard time uh, controlling all the points. Unfortunately, we're dwarves. <laughs> so when it comes to quickly moving around and ninjaing points behind the AI, not really something that's going to happen. What we're probably going to do is put the bulk of our force right here and go for the main point. That's generally what I do on this map. Um, and then we can have some flankers come here. And if we can get the large bulk of his forces here, 
that'd be nice and then we can kind of like grab the other three points pretty easily which will give us some boost and hopefully trigger um trigger his uh army loss pretty quickly i hate the fact that these guys are all so injured they're immortal so if they die it's what like five turns so it's not that big of a deal but i don't have any heals right now which is sucky yeah this is kind of interesting this map looks exactly like there's a warhammer 3 map that looks like this but i think it's a norskin map not norskin um uh, uh kiss live so let's put you guys here i could keep everything over here in the forest actually and then he wouldn't know about it or then we could ninja the main point interesting yeah i kind of dig that you got really good range got to be a little wary of towers god our dudes have like no hp <laughs> i should have fought that last battle man i i i i, I said i should i thought about it i did i did um i gotta be really careful because i don't want to lose either of these guys i might just keep them out of the battle we'll see the fast guys we want to keep somewhere else give me the strong range units actually give me give me two of these guys and we'll keep them hidden and then just give me one melee here I don't really care if the warriors die. That's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm just going to throw all you guys on one. Okay. So then we got you over there. We want to put our stock dudes. I think actually right there. And they actually have Vanguard deployment, which is really nice because we could just rush right up there. Hmm. We got to be a little careful because if the ogres chase them down, that would suck. And I think I'm going to put the rest of your crap over here. Once again, in hopes that they just chase me down. And so, you know what? With that being said, let's put you over here as well. And this might be where we end up fighting the main bulk of his army. What are you, warrior? We'll throw you over here. So, yeah, the goal is to basically engage them over here. All right, start battle. Look at, like, uh, they spawned with the tower right there. That's so unfortunate. We got to break that tower. ASAP. All right, you're going to get in here and you're going to take that point. And this works perfectly for us. And you guys are going to get in here and take this point, please. Yeah, they are all on the wrong side for them. So that tower is a B word. The <laughs> Noblars <laughs> are their actual main unit. I'm wondering if I just shoot their tower or what? Yeah, I think we shoot their tower. And... Ugh. I think we do something like this and just move these guys forward. So we'll see when they start responding to the fact that I am no longer there. I need this tower dead because the tower is the one thing that's going to actually do damage to me. Now, it is a basic tower. Ah, you can see it's doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, I should have put like a unit down here because I could have given them like defensive boosts. Which maybe wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Uh, you guys just keep moving, please. They are actually now moving around. So, I don't mind that. Because they don't have tower support over there. I need you to basically do some flanking. And by some flanking, some nice little <laughs> dodging, man. When we actually have the AI, you know, we're using dwarves to dodge. Not really ideal. I wonder if I could use them to ninja this. They know I'm here. Yeah, we're no longer stalking. We just got to keep uh, an eye on them and move accordingly. You guys need to move a little quicker. Uh, we probably should be able to break them. Let's go like here just to keep on uh, vision. The tower's dead. Good, 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 good. Let's get up and you can start shooting those Noblars. And I'm going to take probably one of these guys over this way. Oh, we're actually being flanked here. Uh, all right, run away, run away, run away, run away. There's no reason to fight those guys. 
Uh, they're building a tower, but I will take this before that tower finishes. They're quicker than me. Shoot. <laughs> okay, problem. We got a major problem here. You guys get over here. You have to destroy these walls, apparently. Let's get you guys up here. You captured a victory point. Yeah, they're wrecking our quarrelers. Ironically, we're still doing okay there. We took their main point, which is awesome. So the nice thing about that main point is... Um, it gives us what? Again, remind me. So since we have the controlled... Uh, is that giving us? I think it's taking away their siege defending. Yeah. Anyways, we're getting momentum now because we have multiple points so you guys are all gonna move down here you guys are all gonna move down here as well i'm gonna keep those guys on the hill you know what i'm realizing the big problem is the fact that i am slow <laughs> uh, you're just not realizing that brian yeah yeah because i can't really do anything these quarters are gonna die Mm-hmm. they can't really run away my hope is that we just break them by taking over everything first. If you guys want to shoot those guys real quick, that would be great. Um, one of our quarrelers broke. So the thing is, I figured they were actually going to go for my main army, not the quarrelers. But it kind of makes sense now because the quarrelers were the closest. So I kind of understand what happened here. Yeah, you guys just go ahead and start taking shots at those dudes. Um, these guys are going to get absolutely wrecked. Please. Uh, let's get you in on this. Melee defense, charge defense. Probably save that just in case. Uh, you know what we also have is we have the bombardment. Nice. Yeah, that bombardment just wrecked. Good. We got to keep an eye for the charge defense. Um, so nobblers are basically dead. Trying to use him to engage just for the time being. Grabbing another point. Grabbing another point. They did take back this point. Oh, God. They have respawned. Okay. You guys just run away and hide for the time being. Keep shooting the ogre bulls, please. Thank you. Ah, more nobblers. You guys need to get over here as well. Uh, you guys probably can come over here and help. Give the boost. Um, don't really need the augments on you guys. Nah. I think we're good. We gotta get the tower taken here. Oh, shoot. Where's this tower from then? Maybe it's this point? Might be this point. Yo, what are you guys doing down there, please? And we do have ogre bulls here. So... I don't know if the blasting charge actually worked, but I don't really want to use the blasting charge at this point because I'm a little concerned. Then let's see if we can get some shots on you. You guys are just shooting those guys, which is good. You broke them again, which is good. You guys are wrecking all their life. I'm going to have you come around here and engage these guys because he can pretty much solo those dudes without a problem. You guys are slowly making your way up here. The tower is getting rebuilt, not a problem. And it should be GG here pretty quickly. Yeah, it should be pretty well GG. They actually moved in a different direction, okay. Well, let's get you over here and help out. I really need that tower to stop shooting me, please. Okay, nobblers are coming back. I really need to take this. I just don't have any weight there because I have like no guys. And they are coming over here hardcore, man. Can you just, like, start throwing the... Hmm. Yeah, this is probably not the best way to do this. No. The more I'm looking at this, I think we might have screwed this up a little bit. But that's okay. All right, let's get you over here. I need to grab this control point, please. How are we doing over here? All right. If you guys could go ahead and start unleashing your weapons here. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Even if we get completely wiped, it won't be into the world. 
because we will be able to rebuild probably before they can do anything. All right, we took that point. So good, 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 good. Um, that means their buildings all dropped. We're about to grab that one, about to grab that one. Army loss should be pretty close here then. They're coming back. They're coming back. You're dead, I think. So yeah, really, this is the only potential issue here. Can you guys shoot? I would love for you guys to actually be using your explosives. That was the whole reason I brought you away. There we go. My doors are in there. I don't really care. My coralers are actually doing pretty good. So they had one shot and then they charged in. Okay. We lost the other coralers or the other ones. Uh, okay, there we go. Thank God. Okay, in this quickly. So we definitely lost. I mean, we got decisive, which I think it was supposed to be Pyrrhic before. And it actually doesn't look like we lost any of our units. They just took intense amounts of damage and they're at really low HP, but yay. <laughs> yay, how do our hammers do? They're okay. Oh yeah, we didn't move them. I actually, you know what, I take that back. I think we did move them accidentally, but whatever. The bigger problem were quarrelers. Yeah, I didn't want them to take that much damage. We'll have to see whether or not they actually survived. Um, cause just they just cause they have a little HP here doesn't mean they actually loot. So we shall see. We shall see. So that's gonna put the disciples of Maul with what one or two provinces now. Also, whatever their uh, strength rank is, it's got to be pretty low, just because we killed their main army. So we lost one of our miners. That's fine, actually. I'm fine with that. Occupy. This is an ideal land for us, but I'm not going to give it back to the borderlands. Yeah, look at his army already. Oh, Lord. I'm wondering if he might actually come grab me. Mm hmm. He might. So we do actually have the Slayers and the Giant Slayers. Okay. We just have regular miners. Hmm. First things first, let's get leveled up. Do we have this corruption control? Casually replenishment rate is way down there, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, this is bonus versus large when fighting ogres. Yes, please. Missile resistance. Don't really have to worry about so much with the ogres. That's green skin, which not that big of a deal. Charge bonus is fine. Just give me the hard to hit. When's your quest? Seven. So we should actually get his quest here pretty quickly then. Oh, hey, we actually have magical items. Uh, you're using it. Do we have ancillaries? Yes, we do. They're all being used. That's fine. Okay, skills then. Training. <sighs> Resolute charge bonus. Missile resistance. I don't know why Devastating Charge got selected. That wasn't me, obviously. Give me Foe Seeker because I'd much rather get discarded veteran here on the Thanes. Uh, the Runesmith. Is scouting there's the that's hinder replenishment yeah we don't have anyone that can actually increase my replenishment rate that's unfortunate uh okay let's greater effect on armor ah so it actually goes to 60 armor what's the cost difference oh there is no cost difference brian because it's not magic Yes, it's runes. So that's actually kind of nice. We don't have to worry about uh, Winds of Magic. <sighs> Keeper of the Great. Oh, man, dude, those are cool. Rank 12. Um, I'm going to give you training since I gave the other one Foe Seeker. Kind of mix it up just a little bit. Boost income doesn't actually matter. Keep giving more missile strength. Meow. Yeah. I don't really need him to have stock. I'm going to give him the flash bomb. That would have been probably useful. I think so. And so we have space for two units. Let us. Do that. Which actually opens up three.
Oh, I have to actually add these. Ha ha. Boom. Okay, so that should be a fairly okay army now. So I don't think Log the Cook is going to come mess with me. Um, the one concern we have now is our strength rank is 198, which means there's a chance the Saratoza with strength rank 20 is like, hmm, interesting. You might be worth declaring war on. Maybe. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, any deals we can do? No. So, ideally, at this point, I think I would rather build up my army. Get some replenishment going. What we might also do is maybe ditch Verdonis. Come back here. And try catching them. I don't know. I don't know. We only have eight, so we can't do anything yet. Nope. Okay. Next turn. So this is interesting because we're going to have to figure out the best way to cheese the AI right now because we don't really, really, really want to have to deal with ogres. Like, I need Skag to die as quickly as possible here. Hopefully, the Skaven that are over here are going to be well distracted by the Empire King or the Empire, the, uh, the Empire Princes. So we don't have to worry about them, but we'll see. We'll see. That was actually one thing that people have been talking about, I think, since the first game is I wonder if someday they're actually going to do some DLC packs for the Empire Princes because they've just been kind of like this neutral faction forever. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they end up adding a bunch of stuff with this game. OK, close ally is an influential Dowie sitting on several guild consoles, ashamed his family name. He should, by all accounts, take the Slayer Oath and go in exile. Three control isn't that big of a deal. Has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. For there it is. The there it is. So I mean, I mean that is that is actually amazing for us. But <laughs> ooh, that's gonna be a fun fight. I mean, they got a lot of goblins, gabos, which aren't gonna be the scariest thing in the world. Uh, the night archers though are a little annoying. Um, yeah, I suppose it's not that bad, but like we we can't fight it right now, clearly. Um yeah, no. No. With your masterful runecraft, my lord. Once completed, be sure to inscribe the new runes. I actually don't know what that means. Skulltakers died. They were over here, weren't they? Averland is there. We're good here. Actually, they might have been over here. Ah, you know, no, no, they were right here. Bergvar. Those dwarves, I think, grabbed them. Nice. Which, these are the guys that I didn't piss off right now, which is good. Zuffbar, not really interested in us. And we can't really do anything else. Just quick check here. Uh, we can get a defensive alliance with the Border Princes. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, what's nice about that is we can now build an outpost there. Mm, yes, actually, we should be able to build an outpost with them. Because... They changed it now where you can build an outpost. It doesn't have to be in a uh, capital city. So we can get some Empire Knights. So this is what's crazy cool. Is now we can get some fast units to go with our really crap units. Probably not yet. And is that Scrag? Is he back? No. No. They just built another guy here. This is where having... Lightning strike would be amazing. So I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to go into ambush stance. Uh, or maybe I should recruit more. Yeah. I wonder how far he can get. I don't think he can actually get to Verdonis this turn, meaning I don't think he can actually hit me. So then in that case, let's go ahead and merge these guys up. We need to get our army built. I, I think I'm actually... Uh, <laughs> Dwarf Warriors. I'm just trying to like... Because it's like our casualty replenishment rate's horrible right now. Absolutely horrible. We only have... Construction, recruitment, and capacity. Nah, nothing that's going to speed up the, the 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 regrowth of our army. So with only two spots here, I think we just do warrior and we do another blasting charge. 
I like the blasting charge. They kind of got this nice little fear thing going for them. It, it's good. So, Tilia is effed. <laughs> oh no, Tilia, my buddy. Well, for those of us or those of you who are expecting us to get to Caragate Beaks quickly, yep, nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Um, I don't know if I want to spend my money right now. We are making 1k per turn. Yeah, no, we should. So here's the thing. We're not going to be able to recruit them yet, but the one nice thing about it is you can, um, if you have, so when you're recruiting their knights, it basically requires the allegiance, which we have a passive income of two, so it's going to take a while before we can actually recruit any of these units. But when you get to a certain point, it's really good just to raise an army quickly because you can do uh, essentially like three things. Um, if you have regiments of renown, you can buy those guys. You can then also then... Um, if you have them available, you can also then do the allied construction and you can also do uh, global and local construction. So you can get an army. I was trying to think who I was playing as. Oh, it was um, it was a uh, Norska, not Norska. Why do I always call them Norska? Kislev. Kislev gets like some crazy bonuses with uh, their global construction rate where they can like bump it down to like tier one. So I was getting like. I was going from like an army of one to like an army of 14 in like one turn. It was like insane what I was doing. So I think we will go ahead and do it. Where would we rather put the settlement? So the thing is, there's two uh, things with the outpost. Number one, wherever you put it, it gives them a little bit more defense. But, but if it ever gets destroyed, you basically just lose it. Oh, interesting. He ended up knocking out the um, uh, 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 the Ratman over here. So that's really good for us then. And he's not currently at war with him. So I think we go Akendorf then. Yeah. Yeah. Give me an Akendorf. And we'll leave it there for now. Yeah, this is really good for us then. So eventually the goal is going to be to confederate with him and then that's going to help us move eastward. So we're just going to have to focus on our flank right now. So we'll focus over here and our confederations will move us over to the eight peaks. And then most likely when we confederate these other guys, we'll get a secondary army. And then that's where we're going to start moving things around. Gosh, dang it. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. As soon as we took that big, huge hit, it was like, it's a matter of time right now. Because, yep. They just love pouncing on uh, players that don't have a lot of uh, uh, a huge army strength. So we're down to 238. So we've lost about 40 factions so far. Kind of crazy. I'm not seeing anything move, which I should be seeing the enemy moving. No, give me the relations, because we need to ally with them. Ready for duty. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, our other guy. So where did they go? They declared war on us, but they're not here. My god, this is scary. I am tempted to, like, come up here. Where can we go? It's not a great. On my way. And I'm gonna go into ambush stance. The idea is hopefully either is gonna move their army thinking that I am not there. That's kind of the one way you have to choose the AI in higher difficulties is a lot of ambush stance. Um, so need a couple turns there. Still don't have you guys. We'll probably end up grabbing more of them. We might have to. Yeah, I don't know. There's not really anything for us to build yet. Verdamos. Verdanos. I mean, still doesn't have any freaking... Ugh. At least we have a decent-sized garrison here now. But I need to get you to tier 3 as quickly as possible. Okay. Next turn. We could go fight that battle, but I don't totally want to go fight that battle because that's going to potentially put us down on HP. And I am a little concerned about that. All right, there's the pirates. They finished off Tilla. 
Riff Raffa. Now, hopefully, Skaven Blight and the Skaven over there are at war with them. That might be our only hope right now. I mean, I'm not like worried about losing, but uh, no, <laughs> I am not joining a war against someone else right now. I'm not really worried about losing, but just kind of triggered for, uh, figuring out the best thing we can do right now. Okay, good. The recruitment costs, which doesn't actually help us, but the base weapon strength is what we want. So can I? No. We could also make a play for Augurus. See how much... The queen They're down rise. to 61. So they did lose a little bit of strength. Like the yeah. We could have been friendly here. I, in fact, I totally would have given you the Ogre Land. I would totally be down with that. Totally. But then you have to go and be a punk. I think I'm going to go right here and we're going to come make a play for Argus Agarus. We're not regening, right? No, that's fine. So then we have you and then Zorvik. Hmm. Interesting. We could trade that back. Yeah. 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 Not gonna worry about it right now. So with the underground, we can transport ourselves around pretty quickly here, which is gonna be nice for us. Pirates to Saratoza. So yeah, they went back to Riff Raffria. So I think they're a little worried about me. And I, I thought about actually going here, but I figured they were close enough that they were gonna be able to get back. So that's why I kind of decided to um, instead press her down here because once again, I'm just trying to remove as many territories as he has Even though their income is broken and they can afford crap. They shouldn't be able to afford this hopefully will help us So the thing with the border princes is they should be Okay, because they have no other enemies right now except maybe these guys Yeah Okay, give me this territory. You're going to lose a blasting charge? Don't care. Because we can re-grab those guys super quickly. And once again, we're going to occupy. Money's fine. I'm not really worried about it right now. So, this kind of gives us an attacking point here, there, and we'll have to see what they do. This is not a good enough army that they can take over um, our, our, our settlement here. So, we're okay there. Uh, how goes Karakazor over here? Fairly safe. Our dwarf buddies keep switching provinces. And they're friendly with us, so I think we're okay here. Probably pop out the ranger building, right? Never mind. Never mind. Holy crap. Give me that. Yes, please. That's an insanely good building for us. And we got a little bit more leveling. I know I really want to come over here. Mm. Interesting. So this actually increases the enemy attrition. Attrition suffered. So this is attrition when under siege, enemy armies in local region. So that to me says when we are fighting the enemy armies, they're taking more attrition, which is actually kind of nice. We don't really have to worry about miners instinct because we're not fighting anyone that can go underground. Um, but then what's the attrition by defender when laying siege or encircling? 
So you know what I think this is? I think the attrition when under siege, I think is the enemy armies when they're sieging you are also then taking attrition, which is actually kind of nice. I really just want to get down here to lightning strike. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to rush that way now because we're fighting against two enemies, both that have more HP than us, and that's going to be a problem. Um, we don't have money. Not going to worry about it right now. We'll stay at 19 and 20. Uh, I am probably going to move into the forest and go into ambush stance. Yes, yeah, see, they have a full stack army now. And honestly, Scrag is probably going to pop out here. Yeah, I figured they were going to be a little worried. And so you can see they're repositioning themselves to defend. So the only chance we really have right now is to catch them outside settlements. Because our army isn't really going to be able to uh, take them on with the garrison. It's just going to be a little hard. If we had a secondary army, sure, but we're not really in position to have that yet, I don't think. Although our money's going to be really good when we finish that main building. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is this is very, an very, very, very interesting time for us. Brayherds come. Please don't be coming for me. <laughs> I, please go somewhere else. That's all I ask. Please. Missile resistance. Uh, give me the HP. Please. Yes. You can do forge fire now, which is lower enemy armor. You can also give our guys more armor. I love it, but yeah, no. And then, yeah. And. Boosting calm. Mm. Mm. I think just give our missile strength more. These quarrelers. Wait, we're actually not gaining HP. Interesting. I feel like we should be. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we got hit here. Okay, this is 70%. So I'm going to come here, and we're going to go into ambush stance. So ideally, one of these two armies comes and attacks us. He is not going to be able to siege us down. I'm hoping now that they're full stack, they're going to be able to go get uh, attack for Donus. Which, God, look at like how slow our garrisons are regrowing. Scrag back? Yeah, he's back. Knew it was a matter of time. Knew it was a matter of time. And then we have a Ratman army here as well. I'm going to ask him to leave. If he declares war on us, we're in trouble. <laughs> At that point, um... Yeah, at that point, we will uh, basically have to hope to God we can win with our garrisons. We're going to have to try choosing the AI. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I think where we screwed ourselves was the fight against Scrag. The initial fight against Scrag. Okay. Now that is interesting. I don't really care if he goes and takes that province. In fact, I'm down with that because we can go ninja the province behind him. I would much rather go steal this province from him. This actually is probably going to work out good for us. I don't mind giving up this problem to the pi or this province to the pirates if we can like eliminate Scrag. That is that's good for us. Hopefully, the border princes can defend for at least a little bit. The Bray Herds are across. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. I don't know if this is going to be enough to take. Scrag. He ignored my trespassing. All right, that's fine. A Chaos Dragon is attacking the hold. Well, that's unfortunate. Which hold? Agoras. to just ignore it it's only 31 to replace that's fine so if we can get to like right here stay in ambush mode oh hey we can actually move in ambush mode now nice next turn we can get here and siege this capital down it actually isn't that scary i wonder can i just grab it now god look at how oh crap my units are like, uh, the lack of HP really is killing us. We can grab another... Another dude. I will any 
So the thing is, Scrag rush stanced, which means he wouldn't be able to attack us next turn if we took this. If we came and sieged it, he would be able to get back and attack us because he would attack out here. Debating what I want to do here. I think we take this. Sack value is 2k. Dang, that'd be nice. Honestly, I'm tempted to raise it. Because one thing we could do is raise it and maybe bait Scrag into resettling it. And then whack him. And we can always resettle it later. It doesn't have a great garrison. It does have one unit of man eaters. It, they only have like seven or eight units. We have to hit them now. So then is it worth replacing the great weapons? Nah, I think we just ditched the miners. Very well. I will do as you ask. And that's like all of our money, but decisive victory. Nice. Nice. I'm actually going to loot and occupy. Ooh. Nice. So we can replace those guys. Okay, so we got decent HP growth now. These guys have no settlement. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so Scrag has no settlement, so now he's taking attrition every turn. Beautiful. What is... That actually is not the worst of garrisons. It's still going to lose here. Hopefully, 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 hopefully Scrag decides to um, siege it as opposed to straight attacking it. If he sieges it, that's going to be good for us. But it looks like we probably are going to be able to take out one of our enemies now, which... Whew, okay. Give me the walls. Yep, yep. And no one else leveled. Okay. Um, um, I don't really want to upgrade you guys. Can we do anything in our other province? We need to repair all this. Yeah, that's all of our money then. And research available. So these guys are a little bit better now. Let's go ahead and do the control so we can get the diplomatic relations. And I just want to hit next turn just because I want to see what Scrag does, even though this episode's getting a little long. But ah, yeah, he did grab it. Ah, he immediately took it. Dang, 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 dang. So that's unfortunate. He also built the camp too which is annoying so and that's the issue is we're gonna have saratoza coming this way now hmm all right so we have to figure out how we want to do this now we should probably finish off scrag and just give like saratoza the problem is that is a good army <laughs> so i can't just go take it over i wonder what the princes are going to do If I had enough, I could rent their army. If they want to go take out the camp, I would appreciate that. Uh, are they dead? Did they lose their territory? I think they lost all their territory. No, 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 because our outpost wasn't destroyed. They still have... Oh, Yeah, this is just not great for anyone right now, man. Between the haves and the have-nots, man. I really wish we had some freaking casualty replenishment, man. It'd be really freaking nice. And like our freaking uh, capitals and stuff like this have none either. It's just like, like, look at how slow. Like we took Verdonis like eight turns ago and it's still not full. It's like, what the frick? Um, I don't want to upgrade you. Not yet. Not yet. I want to save for this one. Money. Ooh, we're at 1900 now. Oh, ho, ho. interesting. Problem is, it's quite expensive to recruit a lord. 625 per turn. Yeah, I want a rune lord, but we're going to grab him because he's free. And then recruiting units is not cheap either. Yeah. I 
All right. Well, I'm going to think about this and go eat lunch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game. Comment. Share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.